Hey, what's up guys? Daily challenges for today. We have Gila Monsters, Mutton, Succulent Fish Meat, Animals Trampled, NPCs Looted. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'll also show you a location where you can get the majority of those done quickly. So today I spawned in. I was on the hill over at Cumberland Forest where I left off yesterday. Didn't even get a chance to go ahead and look at the challenges or select offensive so I can go ahead and do these. And then I noticed some guy ended up killing that blue guy in the first clip that was next to me. And then, um, you know, once he spawned back in, I had to make sure he was friendly. And then, you know, had to go ahead and focus on the red dot. And apparently he didn't like it. He came back three times. I killed him three times. And then his posse formed up, started chasing me. But I had a video to shoot. So see you later, fellas. Thanks for the fun. So first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about are the Gila Monsters. Now, in the Chola Springs... New Austin area is a great place to find these, and if you remember from the video the other day where I have my highlight and my horse and where I'm located above the ranch, I always find a Gila Monster on that little dirt road there, but you can find them all over New Austin, Cholo Springs, and south of Tumbleweed over in Armadillo as well. Now, Mutton, we're going to go ahead and talk about next. While you're here, I suggest you go to Rathskiller Fork. The goats will also give you mutton. There are two goats here, and you need to craft three. So if you don't have some extra mutton, you know, just leave the area. Go down about the train track, circle back, and you should be able to get some goats to spawn. But here are some other locations. You have goats and sheep at Emerald Ranch. Valentine, there's three spots for goats. And then again, Rascal Fork, there's usually two goats that you can get your mutton from. While you're here, take advantage of the horse revivers, the horse tonics, the oat cakes, and also to my characters right across the dirt road near the buildings, there are some carrots that are great for your horse. This location is also going to help you go ahead and get a challenging <laughs> animals trampled. If you really want a challenge, man, go ahead and try and take out these chickens. You can go ahead and run over the two goats pretty easy, but the chickens will give you a little bit of uh, a challenge, so... If, you, if you're up for it, go ahead and try and take those out. Try and get them while they're in a group. That's probably the easiest way. If you only have one chicken, you're going to be circling around for a while. Next thing we're going to talk about is succulent fish, which you can get from salmon. You can also get from trout. Just make sure when you catch them, you go into your satchel, you break them down, and then go ahead and craft them with something like mint, oregano, or thyme, which you can find in plenty of locations. You can also find them near the train tracks south of Rascal. But here are some locations where you can find trout and salmon. The majority of these are going to be locations where you find salmon. Along the river here leading into the Flatiron Lake, I'm pretty sure you can find some trout. At that location, there's also trout. And then three salmon locations at Owengila. And then as we go down to Aurora Basin. So the last one we're going to talk about is the NPCs looted. You can do this a lot of different ways. You can either do this from the story mission that you have to complete today. You can do it from hideouts, ambushes. Also, you can just find random NPCs. Either point a gun. If they're not playing, shoot their horse. Go ahead and take them out. If the law comes, take them out as well. Appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.